So my character's name is Linda, and Linda is actually based on a real person. Um, I spoke with Tom Malloy, who's the writer, and I asked him, I said, you know, tell me a little bit about this woman. Uh, is her name really Linda? Yes, it was. And he gave me her background, and her story is she had a child, and she really didn't have a way to support her, so she got into high-class call girl. <laughs> um, and so when she started working with this hotel, she just did it as a job. It was truly a job for her. She didn't enjoy it. It wasn't something, you know, that she kind of fell into. She just knew this was all I could do at this time to take care of my little girl. And so I took that into consideration when I did my character development and really dug a little deeper and asked Tom some more questions. And so I just said, you know, tell me about a day in the life when you were talking with Linda at, at that front desk when she would come and cash in the money. And he said she would walk up to the desk and she was pretty deadpan, didn't have any emotion in her eyes, and she just was there to do a job. And she was very pleasant, very funny, didn't really mind what she was doing. She wasn't embarrassed of it. It was just something that she did to survive and help her child. So that really hit home to me and um, helped me bring a lot to the character, and I hope that came off across on camera. Um, and there were a couple moments where uh, Tom and I, in the scene, we really connected because there's uh, a time where he really starts to listen to her and asks her, you know, Linda, do you have family? And she starts to talk about her daughter. And it's at that point where they kind of connected and I think was a special moment. Um, so that was kind of neat to actually base it on someone who really existed and be able to pull from that. That was a really tender moment. I, re I remember that last night. Yeah. Is it harder or easier when you know it's a real person that you're actually... Um, it's harder because you really want to do justice to that person and for that person. So I really wanted to um, bring Linda to life as she would have been. Um, but it makes it easier too because then I don't have to dig deep and replace it with things that I think Linda would have done or thought because knowing the story behind her, I just had to really feel that emotion and almost live it. Not <laughs> not live it and become a high-class call girl, but <laughs> um, I'm not that method of an actor. Uh, but yeah, so it, uh, you know, I would say it was a little bit easier for me knowing what I did. Um, what? What is it, or what was it that? Quiet. Yeah, just picking up a little. Yeah. Thing. Was there anything that really grabbed you about the script? Um. I think what grabbed me is I had never had an opportunity to play this type of character before. I, I get a lot of strong roles, a lot of really great characters. Sometimes they're nice, wholesome mom roles, and this was the first time that I've ever really gotten to play a high-class call girl. Um, so it was a challenge, and uh, you know we've all seen movies like Pretty Woman and things like that, and so <laughs> I guess I wanted to make her like the nicest, classiest, high-class call girl that I could, and uh, bring some, like I said, some life into her. So that's what really maybe drew me to it was, I think I'm going to do something good with this and I'm going to make everyone realize that, you know, because of the choices that we make in life and certain things that we do, um, there's a reason behind everything. And this particular reason behind this woman and this character was because she didn't mean anything bad by it. She just really did it because she had to. So I thought that was a challenge and that would be interesting and I was hoping that I could bring something different. What, what, um, what differences do you see in working on a, a set that's, this is ultra low budget? Yeah. <laughs> so, what, what, you know, is there anything you can say about this process that, that it brings? I think when you work on an ultra low budget, um, everybody comes together as a team more because we all know we're all here for one reason. Nobody's getting paid a lot of money to do this. We do it because it's in our heart. We have a passion for it and we just want to help each other or people are doing favors. So I think when you get that type of group together, everyone's really a team. And we all know coming in that if we don't all pull together, this is not going to work. So I find that you develop relationships easier there's a lot more camaraderie. There's um, just a lot more fun. Uh, and this is a great group of people. I mean, very talented. 
actors. I mean, all of them should be in, you know, huge budget films. Um, and we all are, you know, making sacrifices of our time and, you know, finances to be here, but it's because we believed in the project and really loved it. And we love our craft and what we do. And that's what's special about working on these type of films. And I've worked on many, you know, huge budget, multi-million dollar films. And you get those relationships too, but there's something really special and more intimate and personal about a film like this. Can you say <clears throat> anything about town, about, you know, kind of guy? On camera stuff? or? <laughs> Is he going to watch this? Sure. Okay, <laughs> then I'm going to say something nice. No, Tom is actually wonderful. Um, I just met him. I've never worked with him before. So we had a couple phone conversations. Um, I actually, uh, there's another actor on the film who suggested me to Tom. And so we had a couple phone conversations and really talked about the character and talked about personal life too, because I've uh, had some things with my family going on and you know he is a big family man and I think we really connected that way and I saw here's this guy with a lot of heart and just a really good guy fantastic actor very talented the script he wrote is unbelievable I think everyone's gonna love the film um, so for me to be able to work with someone like that is really a blessing and I just can't say enough about Tom and his personality he's very kind he's very generous as an actor very funny <laughs> Um, and just overall talented and, and really incredible. So I'm happy to be working with him, and I hope in the future I could work with him again. I'm going to quiet him down one last okay. time, and then um, nothing's peaking at all. <laughs> it's a story about heroin, and mm -hmm. um, heroin has claimed quite a number of, of uh, people, and especially in the entertainment field. Mm -hmm. um, Philip Seymour Hoffman has, was born and raised in Rochester. It really hit Rochester very hard. Yeah. Um, do you have any personal experiences that really... You know, I myself have never done heroin. Um, and I'm happy to say that because I actually do have a friend who was addicted to heroin. Um, he had a very rough time with it. Um, and told me a lot of stories about treatment. Uh, he's in recovery, hasn't touched it, uh, but it's just such a very, <sighs> anytime that there's drug abuse, it's really sad. And it's, um, again, I'm gonna go back to getting to the root of the problem. The individual, like Philip Seymour Hoffman, he was amazing. He was so gifted and so talented and you heard nothing but good things about him, but there was a dark part of his, life, his mind, his soul, that he had to fill a void with. And heroin was that void. Um, and when you hear about all these actors who are so talented and we lose them at such a young age, um, and they just, it shouldn't happen. But you also have to wonder too, when there's people that are, you know, addicted to heroin, other people have to know and you wonder why didn't somebody stop them? Why didn't somebody say something to them? They could have saved their life and they could have, you know, let these amazing actors and talents and friends that we have live on. So I just hope that that's a message for people who know someone who is either addicted to heroin or any other drug for that matter, that they really take a stand and, and take a step up and say, you know what, I'm not gonna let this person just be another statistic and you know end up on the you know news stories like everyone else um, it's heartbreaking not only for friends and family and for fans you know and not just actors either I mean there's a, the friend that I'm speaking about was not an actor he was just a normal person so it could happen to anyone and it, it's pretty easy to get addicted when you don't have you know support or love or you're lacking something in life so I really Hope and pray for anyone that's addicted to drugs, um, that they dig a little deeper and, and want to get help and, and find a way to get out of that darkness. Um, but it's so hard to do. I mean, we hear story after story that they just couldn't kick the habit or they went back to it. And I hear it's a very physically um, painful process to go through the withdrawals and people can't even take that. So. When you take all of that into consideration, it just takes people who are gonna care about that individual. And, um, and I hope that people do that. 
Any last thoughts about this production? Um, I'm just honored to be working on a film right now. Uh, I've taken the last five years off to be with my family. My brother uh, is a two-time cancer survivor. So um, I'm just thrilled he's uh, doing fantastic. He's two and a half years clean, had a stem cell transplant. So I was in this business for a very long time and decided to take the last five years off, put everything on hold, and, and I haven't worked since then. This is actually the first film I've done since my uh, brother is in remission and my family's back to normal somewhat and uh, things are going great. So to me, this is a very special project because it's coming at a time where I'm kind of getting back into everything and restarting my life again. And so this is really a great uh, opportunity for me and I'm just thrilled to be here. <laughs> great, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You were good. You were good. <laughs> that was excellent. Very good. I hope so.